You take the word faith, you divide it up into letters, make an acronym. Number one, if you want to find saving faith, you need facts. The facts that Jesus died for you. The facts that you're a sinner. The facts that, that Christ's blood covers the guilt of our sin. That Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. That we can walk in newness of life. But you also need to agree with those facts. Accept them as truth. And then you need to internalize them. Personalize them for your own situation. That this truth that you agree with, the set of facts, is something that applies to your situation. And then you need to step out and trust. And trust God. Make a total commitment. Step out in faith and rest all that you have, all that you are, upon Him. And realize this is not just for a moment, but this is your hope that you have for a lifetime. A hope for eternity. You know, Paul said in Romans 1, you studied it in Sunday school this morning, that, that we, you know, faith to faith. Faith we're saved, faith we live each day. As Christ saved you, so we're to walk in Him as well, Paul said. And that's what saving faith is all about. Eternal life is something that begins and never ends. It's something that, that uh, it's a quality of life. It's a quantity that never ends, but it's a quality of life that we live with each day. That Christ is alive in our life, and we're living by faith, trusting Him by faith. And uh, Abraham demonstrated that as well, as he believed God in the midst of impossible circumstances. Now, I might ask you tonight, what impossible circumstances can you think of in your life because when you came to faith in Christ, you believed the impossible circumstances that God could take away that account of sin as he promised to do and to replace it with the righteousness of Jesus Christ. But again, today you have a similar decision. That God can give you the power over a particular uh, habit or something that's confronting you in your spiritual life. The Satan's getting the victory over. Demonstrating faith, following in those footsteps is something we exercise every day of our life. And that's what saving faith is all about.